It is Monday, the 15th of August, and this is Love Notes, daily devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Welcome. Our summer psalm for today is number 146. And as we get down to the end of the book of Psalms, we increasingly have psalms of praise that fill our mouths. Today we continue to praise the Lord, and that's the opening words of this psalm. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. Remember what that word soul means to the psalmist. It means all of me, every fiber of my being, who, am I, who I am at my deepest self. It's not the mask of the religious person that I put on to impress people with my piety. It's not the mask of somebody who's trying to earn God's favor. It is the real me. So praise the Lord, real me, everything in me. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God all my life long. If I have breath, I will praise God. That's a tall order. It's what Paul asks us to do when he teaches about prayer in his letters, that we should pray unceasingly. Our lives should be lives of prayer, and yet this takes practice. What can get our, in our way is that we can trust other things. In verse 3, the psalmist says, Do not put your trust in princes, in mortals, in whom there is no help. There's almost a please behind this. Please don't do that because they cannot answer your prayers. They can't receive your praise and they have done nothing that they claim credit for. Don't put your trust in the things of this world, in your political party, your ideologies, your job, your identity that you've created for yourself. Don't put your trust in anything but the Lord alone. Because when the other princes of this world, the other things we've constructed come right down to it. The psalmist reminds us that when their death de breath departs them, they return to the earth and on that very day their plans perish. Uh, just like a coat that wears out or a car that won't run forever, the princes of this world and the powers of the earth will not last forever. When the things that we've given power die with us, We've bet our money on the wrong horse. So the psalmist then reminds us that happier are those whose help is the God of Jacob, the God who is eternal, the God who lasts forever, whose hope is in the Lord, their God. Why is that? Well, in verse 6 it says, It is he who made the heaven and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry, it is this God that we put our trust in. And if you think about it, nobody else can claim that resume. Who else has made heaven and earth? Who else has made the sea? Who else keeps our faith forever? And who else executes justice for the oppressed? With Christ perhaps firmly in our thoughts, the psalmist gives us words that describe what it is that's revealed in Jesus. The Lord sets the prisoner free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. That is Jesus. And who, the, who was crucified and then raised up to vindicate his declaration that these things were most important. That is who we trust and pray to. The psalmist reminds us that the Lord watches over the strangers welcomes them. He upholds the orphan and the widow, those who've been pushed to the sides. And that in the long run, the way of the wicked, he will bring to ruin. And notice here it says the way of the wicked will be brought to ruin, not the wicked themselves. There is always opportunity for repentance. And at the end of all things, I can only imagine that as all of the images of scripture say, God will make all things all in all. Even the wicked will have their hearts turned to faith. Because the Lord will reign forever. Praise the Lord. This psalm sings the praise of God because God is trustworthy and true and only God can deliver us. Let us pray. Blessed indeed are they who put their trust in you, O God. 
our sure rock and our refuge. Guard us from giving to any other the allegiance that belongs only to you. Shine upon us with the brightness of your light that we may love you with a pure heart and praise you forever. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.